Oh my God. Do y'all see this? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna go ahead and start this off right now. This video is for all you guys that's looking to buy a 4K monitor. Yeah, I said 4K monitor. But you're trying to get it for a fucking budget. Hold on. But this is just my opinion, y'all. But I went through the same thing y'all went through. So just listen, I promise you. You can't go wrong but you're trying to get it for the low so look if you've done your research like i did you're going to narrow it down to the two cheapest 4k monitors that's out there listen close now the first monitor you got is the benq el 2870u that's your first choice your second choice was the asus vp 28ug so look listen here close this video is for all y'all next gen console users, PS5, Xbox Series X, or even, I guess, PC, I guess, if you want to do it. But I'm sure you can find something with better specs. This is more so for my console user, because this monitor is quality. 60 hertz. So I know a lot of people want 120 hertz, 144 hertz, 240 hertz, 1500 hertz, 50,000 hertz. Look, for console, you don't even need to worry about that. Cause if you're on this video that means you're trying to get a budget 4k uh monitor slash tv so this ain't the video for you if you want 120 hertz 240 hertz 100,000 hertz long story short even if you want a 4k monitor with the 144 hertz and you're trying to buy it at a discount there's no such thing honestly there's maybe two monitors in existence that's even like that because for one your next gen console it has a hdmi port which we all know at 2.1 there's a new version of the hdmi that doesn't come on none of the minor the monitors today it's an hdmi 2.1 that's only on the newest monitor so you're dropping a rack off the gate and if you don't have the 2.1 i don't care what your xbox tells you it will not run over 60 hertz it won't run over 60 hertz so if you're trying to decide about a 4k monitor stick with the 60 hertz because they don't even have the 2.1s out yet there's maybe two or three in existence they're probably 1500 or more so if you got that i recommend you go somewhere else this ain't the video for you all right so anyway now that we got that out of the way and you're narrowed down to two choices oh yeah and another thing 4k quality 60 hertz so when i did the specs and checked the specs out i'm gonna go ahead and make this simple for you i'm gonna break down the difference there's the benq it has hdr and it also has built-in speakers one they're both the same size all the other specs are 95 percent similar these are the main differences the benq like i said has a built-in headset into the monitor i mean headphones speakers i'm sorry so you're going to be able to hear. You don't have to have headphones in, so forth and so on. So if you have a problem and don't have speakers or you damn, I don't know, you don't have your headphones, then you're going to need to buy the BenQ. But if you're buying it just for the HDR, I'm going to tell you right now, the HDR is trash. Ain't that right, Milo? If you look at the specs on the HDR, it's like a 200, 300, something like that. It's not true HDR. And the... It actually makes the colors look worse. I did my research, so if you don't believe me, go look at some other videos on the BenQ. HDR is trash, so don't even put HDR in the equation. The difference is the speakers. Do you care about built-in speakers or not? If not, then I would go with the choice that I made, which is the ASUS VP28UG. It has all the specs, like all the little specs that you done looked up. Does it have variable refresh rate? Does it have frame screen tearing? 
Does it have this? Does it? It has it. These both of these have it. I don't knock that all off the checklist. So now, so y'all know I ain't kept. Just listen to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got it right here. Asus LCD monitor, 28 inches LED backlight, the VP28UG. God damn, that was hot. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this motherfucker is amazing. So at the, oh, you wanted to know about the price point, you say? If you go on eBay or you go on Amazon, there's a difference in the pricing, probably about a hundred dollars. The BenQ is slightly cheaper than the asus i believe but they're like roughly in the same 50 dollar range like 50 dollars more 50 dollars less one of them so look you can pick i picked mine up for 243 dollars <sighs> a 4k monitor 243 dollars if you if you can't find a good deal on it you can buy it brand new for like $259 or $299, depending on where you go. So you're gonna spend under $300 for this monitor. So if you're looking for a 4K, you should expect to pay way more than that. So $300 should be nothing. If not, you should go get you a 1080p or a 1440p with 144 hertz and call it a day. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about 4K. Go get you a 144 hertz uh, monitor and said 1080p, 1440p, and you'll be great. You might be better off than me, but I had to have 4K. I said, F the Hertz, I want superior quality. And superior quality is what I got. So now, wait till you see this. Okay, okay so this is my 4K monitor. The Asus, there's two different versions. There's one with an adjustable stand with the square bottom. But as you can see, I got the round bottom. All it does is tilt up and down. 28 inches is a big ass monitor, y'all. If you think I'm capped, just look. I'm gonna hold up something as a scale of reference. It's my Xbox Series X just sitting there, you know what I'm saying? The beautiful beauty that she is. And then also, let me just scroll through a game so y'all can see how beautiful this is. All right, I'm gonna just go to what's a game? What good games? My gamer tag is up here if y'all guys want to add me Xbox Series X. You. All right. Um, what's a game with some great graphics? What other games people playing? Check out Outriders. I haven't even turned this game on yet, so I'm gonna definitely tell the difference because this is the game I've been playing the most lately. So when I click this on, we gonna find out if it was all worth it in the end. Oh my god! Do y'all see this? This is unreal quality, guys. Like, you can see every stitch of his uniform, y'all. Yo, this is crazy, son. Damn, there's no words to explain this. all right look at the end of the day hopefully this video helped y'all out if it didn't i'm sorry but maybe this wasn't a video for you but 4k budget budget monitors asus vp28 ug versus benq el2870u all right now if you can make a list of everything i consumed in this video you can enter into a secret giveaway Drop it in the comment section. That is the purpose of this video. And if you clicked on this video for that reason, I'm hoping you got some insight and you got a good choice. I went with the Asus. BenQ is not a bad monitor. It's, if it has built-in speakers, but I just feel better about the brand Asus. So that's what I went with. If you're going with BenQ for the HDR, don't do it. It ain't worth it. But if you're going with the BenQ because you just want the BenQ, I... Do that too. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy.